The H. A. Andrews Experimental Forest sits in the Willamette National Forest. It's a 16,000 acre experimental forest established in 1948. It's a single watershed. It is a place of long-term research and inquiry that includes ecological research of many kinds, but also includes arts and humanities research and inquiry as well. It is a representation of an old growth forest ecosystem in the Pacific Northwest. We have really big trees, really old trees, 300, 500, some even 700 year old trees, uh, very steep terrain, fast, cold running streams. My name is Emily Houston. I am a graduate student at Oregon State University and I research streams and light and streams at the H.J. Andrews Experimental Forest. I am looking at light and how trees around the stream can influence light that reaches the stream and how that drives some bottom-up productivity through the ecosystem inside the stream. So from everything from algae to invertebrates and then up to fish and salamanders. This idea of light in stream ecosystems is really important for forest management and restoration, looking forward into the future for long-term sustainability of, of ecosystems of forested streams. So a healthier stream ecosystem would make healthier fish, and more fish being in the system would like a full circle of a productive and functioning forested ecosystem. What we can think about now is that this program has been in place since you know, 1980 as a long-term ecological research site, but it's even been operating longer as an experimental station, so we can actually look at the long-term record of ideas that have come out of this place. And that gives a really rich opportunity for somebody like me to come in and do a different type of work um, and examine a different type of long-term data, if you will. So for example, somebody might look at the research that Emily has been doing or her lab has been doing and very frequently we see people say the scientists found that moderate levels of light do X for the fish populations, therefore we should do Y. And so my job is to come in and say, okay, well what's the missing piece in there? What sort of ethical or normative idea are you bringing to bear on that conclusion that you're trying to reach? And so it's, it's an ongoing intellectual exercise with really significant implications for how we make decisions and the decisions that we make in, in management and policy arenas.